I am Dr. Naveen Hedne Chandrasekhar, Chief Head and Neck Surgeon, Apollo Proton Cancer Center, Chennai. Today, I will be talking to you about oral cancers. Oral cancer are a set of cancers which affects oral cavity, that is your mouth in a, a common uh, terminology. Cancer is nothing but uncontrolled growth of cells which invades the surrounding structures and destruction of the surrounding structures. Oral cancer is commonly seen in people who have risk factors like tobacco, alcohol and uh, viral infection but can also happen in people who don't have any risk factor so it can affect anyone. Oral cancers are mostly caused by risk factors, most likely tobacco, either tobacco smoking, tobacco chewing, any form of tobacco. The risk of oral cancer is also increased by some viral infection like papal HPV infection and there are some uh, unknown risk factors. It can affect anybody who does not in, indulge in any of these risk factors. sore in the oral cavity or ulcer, non-healing ulcer which lasts for more than 3 to 6 weeks, loose tooth, bleeding gums, pain in the oral cavity which continues even after medication, swelling in the neck. These are the common symptoms and signs of oral cancer. So anybody with symptoms of oral cancer should visit a nearest cancer specialist. So, how, what do we do when somebody we see with a suspected oral cancer? We need to uh, evaluate them with uh, some imaging, biopsies. Biopsy is the first thing to prove whether it is cancer or not. Once you diagnose uh, with a histopathological confirmation, then we move ahead with uh, imaging like scans, like CT scans. We can do MRI scans, PET scan to stage the disease. Oral cancer are very easily treatable because oral cancer are situated in a, a area where they can easily be seen and diagnosed. They present very early because you can see it every day when you brush, when you clean your mouth and it causes symptoms very early like pain and loosening of teeth. So the treatment of oral cancer is usually uh, surgery. In, for early cancers, just maybe good surgery with removal of the tumor with adequate margin may be sufficient. But as the stage advances, we can also treat them uh, with further other uh, multi-modality treatment like uh, with adjuvant radiation and chemotherapy. So basically, the treatment of oral cancer for early stages can be single modality which is preferably surgery or if patient not fit for surgery can be considered for radiation if in the as, as the stage advances can be considered for surgery followed by adjuvant radiation or chemo radiation uh, oral cancer affects body as any other cancer oral cancer usually is a local disease mainly it it affects the local area like mouth, uh, then it can spread to the neck, to the lymph nodes in the neck and from there, there are only 5 to 10 percent of them can spread to other parts of the body. The risk factors for oral cancer as I told you are uh, lifestyle related, mainly that is smoking and alcohol. Use of both can not only be additive but it can be multiplicative. So it is a lifestyle related uh, disease. So, uh, staying away from these habits can reduce the risk of developing oral cancer. Any cancer has to be staged before treated. So, we use a staging system called TNM staging system where tumor, nodal and metastasis are the three separate things which have to be staged. The staging is either clinical or radiological. Clinical staging is done when we see the patient in the clinic. 
where to confirm that we do scans and do a radiological scanning. Then finally, is pathological staging. When we remove it, then we get another staging. So, we combine all these together and make a staging. But staging is very important as in any other cancer, there are guidelines to treat each stage of uh, oral cancer. Oral cancer is also a non-communicable disease. So, the, the incidence of oral cancer has increased in the past. It's as I told, it's because of lifestyle. So, staying away from risk factors, a treatment easier and cure rates are better when we diagnose them early and treat them early. So, as I told you, we should be, when, when you have a risk factor, you need to go and visit the uh, local uh, cancer surgeon or a specialist regularly uh, and if there is any doubt we need to do biopsies and uh, confirm the diagnosis and treat them as soon as possible. Today we discuss in brief about oral cancers, what are oral cancer, how we diagnose oral cancer, what are the signs and symptoms, when do you need to visit a physician or a surgeon, how to stage them, how to diagnose them, what are the best possible treatment for oral cancer. Stay safe. Stay healthy, stay informed. If you or anybody you know, you come across with these symptoms, kindly visit a doctor as soon as possible.